So remember how in our UX challenges one and three, we really emphasized empathy and how empathy is so important within the design thinking process and the design process in general. So for UX challenge number three, we really want to get at innovation and why some companies and products are more innovative than others. And the truth is, is that innovative companies really look to understand a diverse set of perspective, a diverse groups of perspectives, because that just helps them build a more useful product, a more innovative product. An example of this is uh, Netflix. So Netflix actually went out and started creating content for different countries and different cultures, countries like France and Spain and India. And they actually opened up markets that were hungry for movie and TV show content that Hollywood had traditionally ignored. And so they were able to increase their business reach. And of course, other companies and streaming services started to copy them, but they were one of the first to do that. So by actually practicing inclusive design practices, you can actually eliminate the competition in some ways because you can position your project topic in a way that eliminates the competition. So if you want to hear more about that, it's something called Blue Ocean Strategy, and you can look it up, you can Google it, or you can take our course to learn more. But some of our students in our cohort have actually used Blue Ocean Strategy really well. One example is a student named Yasmin. She really wanted to focus her project topic around beauty and wellness, but what she realized was that the market was really saturated for women's products. So she took a deeper dive into her topic and she found a niche topic for men's skincare and, uh, you know, uh, product. And so she chose to focus her ideas on men's skincare. Another one of our students, Tomas, actually chose to focus on low-income families who were on food stamps, uh, especially during the pandemic, and no big brand was really focusing on them or trying to uh, provide a service for this group. And so he chose to focus on that group and he yielded a really interesting product idea uh, that was also very, very innovative. So you, your UX challenge for today is to do some secondary research around the competition of your project topic area and start to think about subtopics or niche markets within your topic where you can eliminate the competition. No competition exists. And if you'd actually like to build out your project topic for the next four months, I really recommend joining our personalized live UX co cohort. This is exactly what you'll be doing, choosing a project topic of your choice and then working on it to build a fully-fledged innovative product.